The views expressed in this video are that of a hobbyist, not of a business owner or a commercial operation. Clear as mud? Hey there, it's me again. Um, it's really out of the ordinary for me to record uh, two videos over the course of two days, but it is extremely out of the ordinary for me to record uh, two videos in the same day. I had to turn off my exhaust fans over there to reduce some noise, and I have a funny feeling I'm still going to have some noise uh, coming from that neck of the neighborhood because uh, apparently I have a neighbor who got himself a 1970 or 71 El Camino and just realized that uh, the carburetor is much more fun to play with than um, fuel injection and a computer connected to the diagnostic port on a newer vehicle. So if you hear something funny, loud, I can hear the rumble right now. Yep, that's his 350. Sorry about that. But at any rate, you know, I posted that video earlier today, and I can't believe that I I posted that, and I left to go get my conduit, and I came back, and there were 125 messages from people, um, and some of the thumbs down on the video, because apparently there are some people in this world who just are not entirely pleased with the quality of their free information. Um, I'm sorry, I will talk to Facebook about getting you a refund. Not really. Oh boy, there he goes. And there goes the El Camino. Good grief. Um, but no, I have not been hiding behind the camera as some people uh, suggested. It's just that, well, you know, I'm a little unshaven and I'm slumming. Let me drop everything and work on your problem. Um, but apparently the information in that first video that I posted uh, today wasn't quite up to par according to some people, some 125 people. And a lot of those people are uh, members on my website and I just do not understand why they don't post the messages in the forums instead. That's why the forums are there is so that if you ask a question, I answer it, everybody benefits at the same time. And then there are also a lot of those members that just sit there and I guess they're um, expecting entertainment. I don't know. I, I don't do the Patreon thing anymore because Patreon is for entertainers. I'm not an entertainer anymore. If I was an entertainer, I'd be standing here with one of my guitars. I put that hat on the rack a long time ago, so no, that's not going to happen. But at any rate, um, they a lot of those messages were from people complaining because I really didn't detail a whole lot. Well, I intended to do this in a progressive sense. What the hell? Hillbillies. That's all I can say is hillbillies. Good grief. I'm going to wrap this up because I turned off the exhaust fans and it's going to get hot in here. But I got the conduit and I dry fit everything together. Now it looks like crap because I haven't cut things down to the proportional dimensions, you know, w where they should be. But this is what I was talking about. Things go up and across the top, and here comes this one rolling down. That's a good one. Both of them fell. I'm not going to edit that out. I'm going to leave it as is. But as you can see, I put the braces down here at the bottom, and I left the little bolt or the nut in there so I can get a bolt in and tighten things up. But things go across the top like this. And then the plan is the towers hang on these. I'm sorry, I was not facing the microphone. The towers hang on these. 
These will be bolted together with carriage bolts and aircraft washer or aircraft nuts so that they can't give. And the towers hang on these 16 inches apart. These are also spaced 16 inches apart this direction. So that means every tower is 16 inches apart, left to right, front to back. Once everything is tightened up, all of this give is going to go away. And even if there is a fair amount of give in there, it does not matter because I, I'm not exposing these things to the wind. Now, across the bottom, each tower is going to drain into a gutter, a rain gutter, going this way. The rain gutter is filled with the um, basically gutter guard media, and that acts as both a mechanical filter and a biological filter, all in one. So they drain across that way. There's going to be another gutter going that way, and an entire gutter going the full length of the greenhouse along the back. That is also where the uh, water supply line for every rack is going to be, is along the back, so I don't have to trip over it. But there are going to be four of these, 16 towers each, that's 768, or sorry, 64 towers, 768 plants along the north side. Once the wicking beds are in here, my path down the middle of the greenhouse is still the width of the door. I can live with that. I can still get my cement mixer down here to mix up potting soil or whatever else I need to do. That's plenty of space, but there's four of these, two feet apart, the full length of the greenhouse. I think that is actually more than enough work for me. <laughs> um, I really don't want that much more work, but that's how it's going to work out. Now, I'm sorry if I'm doing this in progressive steps so people can um, keep up with what I'm doing and possibly duplicate it at the same time, but that's just the way I'm going to do it. I'm sorry, but I have a lot of people hammering on me. How do you install these? I'm going, well, you hang something, you drop water in the top, you catch it in the bottom. Apparently that's not easy enough for some people to understand, so I'm going to do it this way. As I build them from, you know, for the greenhouse, I will show you how I'm building them. Uh, I've already showed enough pictures and videos of what I had in my house before I built the greenhouse. That really isn't going to apply in, in real world uh, situations. So I'm going to do it this way. So if there's any other questions, uh, please, 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 if you're a member of the website, use the forums. Please use the forums. Um, if you're not a member of the website, I will answer questions on YouTube best I can as I have time to answer them, but YouTube is really not, uh, it's not my focus for uh, my attention. I'll do what I can, but, you know, if I can't keep up here, uh, that's what the website's for. So I'm going to cut this off because, yeah, you know, after turning off those exhaust fans and good grief, what time is it? 5.21 p.m. Mountain Time, Nebraska. Holy shit, it is hot in here. <laughs> well, I'm sure that's going to get another thumbs down because I said shit or holy shit. Oh, oh, one more question. There was somebody asking me the size of the pump that runs all of the wicking beds and stuff like that. It's only a 500 gallon per hour pump and it's choked down. Uh, I think it pulls 45 watts. That's not bad. It won't kill you. I think it might cost you five cents a month to run that. At, what, 12 cents per kilowatt hour? Yeah, it's, it's cheap. So I'm going to cut this off. Oh, there went my snooper visor, Timmy, <laughs> the beagle, one of them. Uh, I'm going to cut this off now and, well, try to enjoy what's left of my weekend. I have to go back and babysit computer problems tomorrow. Let me drop everything. <laughs> Just kidding.
Uh, I know there's at least one of those clients that's now watching this. Sorry, Pat. <laughs> Take it easy, people. I'll catch you the next time around, all right? Bye-bye.